Hi, I'm Alan Bresnik from Light Reading. We're here in New Orleans at the SCTE Cable Tech Expo, and I'm speaking to Ed Dialek from Intel. Hi, Ed. Hi, Alan. Good to see you. So, a new cable industry acronym, GAP. Tell GAP. Us, tell yes. us what is GAP. So GAP stands for Generic Access Platform, and basically it's a next generation access node. Mm -hmm. But what's different about this access node is it's actually standards based, mm -hmm. and it's modular, and it's intended to be multi-axis as well. So, so not necessarily just for, uh, for DOCSIS, as an example. Okay, so why does cable industry need GAP? So, um, one of the, there are some pretty key problems that the operators are facing, right? So if you walk around the show floor, you'll see lots of different node designs. They're very mm -hmm. similar, but they're also slightly different from each right. other, right? And that causes sort of a management nightmare mm -hmm. for, for the operators. And, um, you know, they have to sort of retrain everyone on every little variant, uh, every different type of node, that sort of thing. They have to manage inventory of you know, multitudes of, you know, 40 SKUs, maybe more than that, right? That sort of thing. So what GAP does is basically sort of takes away um, a lot of that by standardizing the fundamentals, the, the housing itself, making the um, modules uh, uh, very well specified, such that if you build a module to that spec, it can go into anyone's node housing, as an example, right? So it just, it just streamlines management uh, and inventory and things like that for the operators. So all nodes will basically be the same? No, not necessarily. Because of the modularity, mm -hmm. what, what you'll do is you'll add uh, personalities and customize a node for a particular de deployment. So if, um, as I mentioned earlier, it's not just for DOCSIS, right? So if you need, let's say, a mix of DOCSIS and maybe some wireless uh, front hall in a particular location, then you would just populate the correct modules for that type of a, a use case. Okay, so GAP is a spec right now. What is the status of that? That's right, so GAP uh, is a spec that's in progress. It's, a, it's a, one of the work items in an SCTE work group. Mm -hmm. uh, we've made actually uh, tremendous progress over the, you know, the past, uh, I would say, several months on the spec. The uh, work group has grown to, I think, well over 100 members now at that's this a point big, That's a big work group. It's a, it's a big group. Those are individuals, right? Not, not necessarily 100 companies, uh, but from a myriad of companies as well not only representing cable, but wireless and optical, so some of those additional multi-access type uh, mm -hmm. use cases are, are being represented well. Um, the spec is uh, progressing quite well. Last year at the show, we, uh, we talked about a concept. This year, we're actually showcasing a functional prototype of, of course, a pre-standards gap node, but a gap node nonetheless, and mm -hmm. we're showcasing that in three areas around the show. One is at the ATX booth, right. one is at the Cisco booth, and one is at the Intel meeting room. So five vendor com companies came together in a very short amount of time and put together this, this functional gap prototype. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that really demonstrates that a multi-vendor environment can work for something like a node. So when will we see trials and deployments of it, do you think? Great question. So we've got to get the spec done first. Mm -hmm. And I think we've we've um, made tremendous progress, as I said. We've done a lot of the sort of background debate, if you will, on how this thing should look, et cetera. And I think at this point, it's, it's really about um, finalizing things and putting some final stakes in the ground, make, making some final decisions. I don't want to speak for the work group because mm -hmm. I'm not one of the chairs of the work group. Charter is the chair of the work group. Right. But uh, I think you'll see uh, next year, I think you'll see things uh, come together very quickly for GAP. Okay, well Ed, thanks for helping us close the gap on GAP. All right, All right. thank you, Alan.